What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Say. Today is the first episode of a brand new series I wanted to start talking about some of the Kentucky Bourbon Trail distilleries. Now, I recently was able to take a trip to Kentucky. I visited all the major locations, got to visit pretty much every the one of the big distilleries in Kentucky. And I took a lot of pictures, so I figured let's do a little mini series here talking about each of the distilleries. I was able to take tours at a lot of them, um, just due to time constraints, I couldn't do tours at all of them, but I did still get photos at, at the places where I didn't do tours. So I figured let's talk about each distillery and you know, kind of give you my thoughts and impressions on each one and what I liked about them, what I didn't like about them, and whether I would recommend you guys should visit it when you do plan your trip to Kentucky. I know when I first went to Kentucky the first time, I was searching all throughout the internet trying to find reviews on these bourbon, you know, these bourbon trail distilleries and which tours I should do, shouldn't do, just do tastings at some places. So um, gift shops was another thing I really wanted to know about. So I'm going to talk about the gift shops too, because that is one of the most important things as a bourbon hunter for me. So which gift shop should you go to? So let's talk about the first stop in the Kentucky trip, and that was Michter's Distillery. Now, honestly, this was probably one of my favorites, at least Whiskey Row distilleries to visit, uh, Michter's Fort Nelson. Now, Michter's also has a Shively location uh, where they do their actual, you know, big production distilling and aging, things like that. This is just their Fort Nelson or part of the Whiskey Row in downtown Louisville. And I loved it. Um, everything is kind of packed into a, a small area as it has to be just because of, of space, space issues, but they really do a good job breaking it up. Uh, I was able to take the tour at this location, and even the flow of the tour was very nice. Again, it was such a small area to fit everything in, but they started out the tour just talking to us in the actual gift shop. So the gift shop here was actually very, very nice. Um, a, a very good selection of all their main line products. Um, this gift shop specifically is one that if you get there first thing in the morning, Rumor has it I've heard maybe a couple times a day, but for sure, first thing when they open up, they will scatter out more rare bottles. Uh, this was actually a bottle I was able to get because I was pretty much the first one there at Michter's. This is the Toasted Barrel Rye, and this is incredible whiskey. I absolutely love this product. I actually tried it at the distillery after after the uh, the tasting portion of the tour was done too, and I've had it before, and it's it's just amazing. But this, there was only one bottle of, and I was able to get it luckily. They also had a uh, barrel strength bourbon. That was the only other limited product that was available at the time. Um, they had a couple M10s, but I already had had that, so I wasn't worried about that. But they were all gone within the first 10 minutes when I was there. I mean, I bought one. I left the barrel strength bourbon for someone else. But So if you want to get limited products, Michter's will put them out, but it's going to be in limited quantities. Like I said, there was only one of each of these, so... But let's get into the tour a little bit. Now, the tour was actually great. So our tour guide um, had a microphone the whole time, so we didn't have any trouble hearing him. It was about, I'd say, five to ten people only who were in our tour group, probably closer to ten. Uh, but first things first, the tour started in the gift shop. So in the gift shop, we uh, they have a little area where you watch a little video about the, the history and the background of Michter's. And then they talk to you about the very basics of production. So what bourbon is, which kind of every distillery talks about, you know, what bourbon is, what are the qualifications to make it bourbon, things like that. They did tailor it more to what Michter's is specifically and what they're they're looking for in their products. Um, at the moment, for those of you who don't know, Michter's does source all of their products. They are aging their own, making their own distillate, and they're hoping down the road very soon uh, it's going to be their own product. But they're right around that three to four year mark right now of their own product, so they're not releasing it. Um, they're sourcing good whiskey, luckily. So, Once we uh, finished the first part of the tour, we moved on into the, the next section of the tour, which you go through these double doors, and that's kind of the production floor. Of course, it's much smaller scale, again, being in Fort Nelson, being right downtown. There's not enough room. But it started out talking about the grain they use. So they use the best grain, non-GMO, um, organic grain, uh, level one grain, so the best grain they can. And... Um, then he just talks about, you know, the milling the grain, the type of mill they use, things like that. Then we move on over to the fermentation tanks, and we get to see actually a couple of the old wooden fermentation tanks, and that's that's really cool. You got the Michter's logo on them, they, and he did say that those were actually the original tanks from the original distillery way back in the day. So 
very cool history and they put them there to just kind of to show the uh, the consumers what their what their products are. Um, after that he talked about distillation. They actually had a, an actual distiller there actively distilling at the time. Um, it was pretty cool they had a, a normal pot still and then they had the doubler there and they, they were making product. I mean they were making product. He was over there watching the gauges and uh, making sure making sure everything was where it was supposed to be. So really cool, you got to see production actually happening. I really enjoyed that. After that, we moved into um, the actual barreling. So we talked about barreling, which again, most distilleries will talk about the barreling aspect, how long you'll barrel, and you know, angel share, things like that we discussed. Um, after that point, there was a another video that was played, kind of just talking about Michter's again and about their product specifically. Something Michter's really did emphasize is entry proof. Um, and this was apparent in their tasting section they had as well. So they actually do barrel at a lower entry proof. And that's why when you see some of these barrel strength products, like I have a barrel strength um, rye, this is only 109 proof, so pretty low. This toasted barrel finish is only 108 proof. That's because their entry proof is lower. And that was kind of a big emphasis and a big point that Michter's was trying to make during the tour was, hey, we think this makes a better product with these lower entry proof. That's why we do it. Um, and again, that came up in the tasting, which is really cool. So I'll talk about that too. All right, so moving on to the actual tasting portion of the tour, this was probably the most extensive and just, just awesome tasting experience of any distillery I went to the whole time I was in Kentucky. So first of all, starting the tasting section, we actually had a whole nosing section. So they had these four white jars that were all covered and one at a time he had us open these jars and kind of just take a smell and see what we were experiencing when we opened these jars. And each, each one of the jars represented a nosing note or a nosing profile that they associate in their products. So one of them was vanilla, one of them was caramel. Um, I think one was kind of like a, a smoky toasted marshmallow which is to represent their toasted barrel. So it was really, really cool. I've never had any other distillery experience where they start out with a nosing portion like that. And I thought that was really cool, really unique. And I really like that about the, um, about that, uh, about the distillery mixers. The actual tasting portion, we got to try five samples. Now, I think that's great. Um, usually it's two, three, four at the most generally. And mixers actually had us taste five samples. So that was awesome. Uh, we, so the things that we tried were, were pretty unique, actually. The, the first one, there were two versions of, their, of the uh, rye whiskey. So there was a rye whiskey that was barreled at 103 proof, and then a rye whiskey that was barreled at 125 proof. So again, going back to that lower entry proof, they wanted us to see the differences between something where you add the water later versus adding the water earlier. So being barreled at a lower entry proof, you're adding less water later to get it down to the proof it needs to go to. Now, it did make a difference. Um, it was really cool to be able to try the difference and see the differences because the rye whiskey, in my opinion, that, that was at a lower entry proof, was 103 versus 125. It was much smoother, a lot less sharp. I mean, none of that alcohol burn. It was just seemed like a lot more well-rounded and that was very interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting that, but it made a huge difference being barreled at a lower proof like that. So two rye expressions in ours was the uh, Michter's American was included. Now this is going to rotate between Michter's American and uh, Michter's Sour Mash depending on availability and what they have. We did get the Michter's American, which Michter's American is, is very good as well. To me it just tastes like a butterscotch bomb, but a good expression, a good offering as well. Got to try their normal uh, Michter's US number one bourbon, which was solid. You know, al always solid with Michter's. I haven't had really a bad Michter's product. And finally, the last one that was included was a good one. It was the barrel strength rye. And pretty much everyone at my table was like, wow, you know, that is just an incredible product, incredible rye whiskey. And it is. Um, if you can get that, that barrel strength rye, I love it. At the end of the tasting, they had an actual cocktail section too. So we took the elevators upstairs and we got to have a cocktail up at the bar. So we got to make our own cocktail. Actually, this was all part of the tasting, which is just incredible um it's 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 more than you expect from <laughs> from a, a distillery tour in my opinion so 
Uh, get to make your own cocktail. The cocktail was delicious. They walked us through how to make it, what ingredients to use. And that was the, the last portion of the tour. They do finish the tour up in the bar where you can certainly buy drinks, buy flights of their, their whiskeys, um, you know, cocktails, things like that. Gorgeous bar as well. Um, everything about the, the distillery was top notch, modern, high end. I think the, the Michter's tour was $20. So the whole tour itself was $20. Not terrible. Um, it is a little bit on the pricier side, but for the end portion of the tour, what you're getting, the tasting, I mean, all, all that, it's, it's worth the money. Um, like I said, it was probably my favorite tour of all Whiskey Row, and I'll definitely be going back. All right, so at the end of the tour of tasting, you are able to do a really cool thing that not many distilleries offer. You can fill your own bottle of whiskey of Michter's Barrel Strength Rye. And a little insider information, she said they are working on getting the Barrel Strength Bourbon as another one as well. That's coming and should be coming soon, she said. So you have two options. You can fill a Barrel Strength Bourbon or a Barrel Strength Rye. Cost on it is right around $150 to do it, but it is a very unique experience. And um, I have the whole thing on, on footage, I'm going to show you in just a second here, of me being able to fill the bottle, but it's quite the process. This is the final product. Let me get this out and show you. This is the final product, the box. It's this massive box that comes in with your name and label on the front. Inside the box, gorgeous presentation. Michter's, this has got the Fort Nelson Select bottle, and you get to put on pretty much everything on this bottle. You get to put on the label, you know, you signed by the date, the, the barrel number, all that. Um, you get to put this little uh, medallion on the top too. It's a really cool experience, and I would recommend you do it. Everyone at Michter's was so hospitable, so nice, um, really just open to answer any questions about their products. I mean, obviously, they didn't answer what their mash bill is. We, we tried to ask. Um, we tried to ask their mash bill where they sourced from. Of course, that's all undisclosed. But as far as the actual distillery goes and the people, they're all so nice, so gracious. This experience was really cool. Um, my favorite part of the whole thing which is saying something because the entire tour was great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you guys some video to finish up of me actually filling this bottle so you can see that whole experience. For all of these um, tours, I didn't do video footage because I, I don't want to do that for their tour. I mean, that's, that's for you guys to go do and see the experience for yourself. I did take pictures of everything so you can get a, a glimpse and a snapshot but I did respect their um, their wishes to not really do any video for anything beside the the filling, which which of course I cleared with them, and they were more than gracious to have me uh, to to fill the bottle. And I'm more than grateful to have them let me fill the bottle. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this episode, showing you the video of me filling my own bottle at Mictor's Fort Nelson. But I just want to say a quick thank you so much for for watching this episode. Um, let me know if you like these types of videos, this distillery series. I'm interested in doing it. I'm going to probably put it out anyway, even if you don't <laughs> like it, because every one of the distillers is unique and interesting to me. And I loved many things about all of them. And I would love to talk to them, uh, talk about all of them with you. So let me know if you like it though and you want to see more. I appreciate y'all watching today. Let's check this out. So what we're going to do is you have to decide, okay. do you want to do specially followed by Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this okay. and put it in this square. Now keep in mind it's not a perfect, you know, this square is a little bit bigger. Okay, so don't, <laughs> so, don't mess it up yourself. So it's, yeah, and it's sticky. It's one chance. 
I was never good at arts and crafts. So. <laughs> that works. Okay. And then that will go right there. You need to date it and sign it. 